Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, Mooney, here. You might remember me from such dumb shit videos as Dumb Shit About Disneyland, Dumb Shit About Game of Thrones, and now I bring you Dumb Shit About Why You Should Be Stoked About the New Suicide Squad movie. That's right, I'm here to tell you why you should be stoked about the new Suicide Squad movie. I think I pointed the wrong way. Um, anyway, you guys, some context. Um, I'm here to tell you, talk to you guys about why I think you guys should be stoked about the new Suicide Squad movie uh, coming out. Uh, little con, uh, I'm gonna bring out a couple things before we kind of take the trailers time to talk about uh, some of the other points. Um, the costume, Harley Quinn's costume. If you don't like the costume, guaranteed you might you're already going into this movie kind of with like a bad taste in your mouth. Um, I completely understand why you wouldn't like the costume. Yes, maybe you were introduced uh, to the animated series where she had, like, the old-school Jester costume. Um, I even have a tattoo of it, so trust me, I love that costume, too. Um, sorry, <laughs> not trying to, like, show off my tattoo. Hey, even I have a tattoo of it, see? Uh, <laughs> but, um, God, that was terrible. Plug. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm just saying that, yes, if you, have, like, a, if you have, like, a bad taste in your mouth about the costume... Guaranteed, you might not like the movie because you're already judging it in a way that it shouldn't be judged. And I'm not trying to be mean, but uh, the costume is what it is. It needs to be that because this is the universe that they're building, um, the solid universe. And DC is going in a much darker and more realistic way version than uh, Marvel is. Not saying that it's better for all the Marvel fanboys. Please don't get mad. Uh, I'm not saying that's better. I'm just saying that that's what they're going for. They're going in a much darker direction, especially since they're making things like Man of Steel canon. Uh, that was a very much darker, like, uh, Superman movie than really anything else. So that the fact that they're keeping that canon kind of shows, like, where they're going. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, um, with those kind of things, um, I also just want to say, too, that I am a little bit more biased towards DC, so if you see me, like, really fanbo fanboying about some parts on this, um, I apologize, but, uh, I really don't think that this is, like, a DC versus Marvel issue. I think that you should be stoked no matter who you are, if you, even if you just like movies, or if you like comics regardless, because, um, honestly, this movie is really gonna kind of change the way comics movies are perceived, and maybe who's interested in them, too. Um, I'll take, I'll talk about more on that, but anyway, I'm just letting you guys know that personally I'm a little bit more biased towards DC on my taste. Anyway, uh, let's get this started. Um, I mean, anybody who uses Queen in the video, come on, that's like automatically, that's awesome. Um, that's, that's just amazing right there. First point I want to bring up is, I think it's amazing, the way this is going to change this is that they're actually centralizing this on the villains. We're getting Killer Croc, Enchantress, El Diablo... I mean, Harley Quinn, the Joker, uh, you know, Amanda Waller, who's even kind of not really a villain, but somewhat perceived as an anti-hero. This is going to open it up for so many more things, and it just shows where DC is going. DC is not afraid to show you the villains, to show you the, the dark side of its universe. This is where I really wish Marvel had stepped into the water with, like, a Venom movie or even the Sinister Six movie that they were planning, well, even though that was more like Fox that was going to, or excuse me, Sony that was going to do it. But I, the, I'm just, if they would have done it, I would have been just as stoked on that because I think this is so amazing that they're doing this. I mean, look, at, they're really not holding anything back, which goes into my next point, the production value. Look at the sets. Look at everything that they went in. The graphics are amazing. They're really not holding anything back. This is where they're showing that they're not treating this as just kind of like a maybe. They're not exploring if this movie's going to do good. They're really banking on this movie. I mean, look at the costume. Will Smith costume. I mean, Jared Leto's makeup, everything, his transformation that he did. It's just awesome. I mean, they're really not holding anything back on this. So you should be, I mean, I think anybody as a fan should be stoked that we're really going to see a set of villains, a story about the bad guys going in and kicking ass. And I mean, this is Harley Quinn's first time on film. I mean, this is her first live action anything. I mean, I, that just gives me like such a fanboy boner. Like, oh my God, like Jesus Christ. Like I just went from six to midnight in terms of fanboying. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But yeah, so I just think that anyone, if you're a comic book fan, I mean, look at all this. And then the third part is just the cast. I mean, you have Jared Leto as 
the Joker. You have Will Smith as Deadshot. Margot Robbie, just beautiful. I mean, look at her. She's just... that. That is Harley Quinn. Like, I'm sorry, but that is Harley Quinn. Like, you guys see that. I think it's amazing. The With the cast... The fact that they're putting a whole budget into this, which just looks amazing. It looks like the theme that they're doing is just awesome. They're doing such a huge, huge budget when it comes to exposure on this movie and the way they're promoting it. I think that's honest. I honestly think that to be for anyone, you guys should be stoked. So this is my little video on that. I hope you guys are stoked. Like I said, if you guys are Marvel or DC, it doesn't matter. I think you guys should be just as excited as anyone else because... This is going to be amazing, and this is going to open up the door to villains and actually bringing in more villains, so that way maybe we could even get, like, anti-heroes like Lady Death or, you know, even, like, uh, some sort of, like, dark side tangent or something like that. But anyway, you guys, Mooney out.